Good evening from the 18th International Chopin Piano Competition. We are here for Chopin Talk. My name is Rachel Naomi Kudo. And I'm Alessandro Tomasi. And we have uh, three fantastic guests with us. We have been hosting the uh, competitors of the competition to ask them a couple questions. If you want, please, to introduce yourself. You can, we can start with Leonardo and then do the round. Where are you, your name, and where are you from? Okay, I am Leonardo Pierdomenico, of course, and I come from Italy. Um, next. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hello, I'm Yeon Min Park. I'm from South Korea. Um, and I'm studying in Hanover, Germany. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I'm Sorgo Sawada from Japan. I'm, I'm a student of Medical University. Yeah. Wonderful. So we are here at the Chopin competition. Mm. So naturally, we want to know how did you first come across Chopin's music? Do you have any memories, um, a favorite piece? Uh, could you tell us a little bit? Uh, actually, the, the, the first experience that I had with Chopin was uh, the, my very first concert uh, was with the Chopin piece, the fourth prelude in E minor. I was eight years old. It was a very small competition, but it was the very first concert ever in my life. So with audience, live audience. Uh -huh. um, for me, um, the first music of, of Chopin I played um, was Chopin Waltz. Mm -hmm. And that's the first time I cried while I play. Oh. And yeah, it was a very special experience. And I think Chopin always gives, um, gives me such a feeling, and the yes, music itself is so touching. Yeah. Yeah, um, my mother loves Chopin very much, and she, her email address also includes Chopin. Okay. <laughs> she, <laughs> Uh, played the Chopin CD uh, uh, in car or in, at home your, uh, from my childhood. So I it always has, listen to the... Yes, it has been a, a constant yeah. presence yeah. in Very your natural. life. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and do you think it's um, also because Chopin is such a popular composer in, uh, in Japan? We were chatting a bit mm -hmm. before. Yeah. And why do you think Chopin is so popular in, uh, in Japan? <laughs> I, uh, I was asked, asked that same question yesterday. <laughs> uh, I answered, I don't know. <laughs> and I don't know why the Japan is so, so by far the popular, the most popular uh, composer in Japan. I don't know why uh, it, his music is used in dramas or his commercial music mm -hmm. or mu movies. I don't know why, but the Japanese spirit is very... Uh, uh, Japanese love, love Chopin very much, and many pianists participate in this competition. Yeah. Do you remember when you first heard about the Chopin competition? Is uh, that something that you, being in Japan because Chopin is uh -huh, so popular? Uh, I watched the documentary of this competition. Mm. Uh, the Japanese national uh, TV program is uh, every time makes the, the documentary. So. I was 10 years ago, uh, 11 years ago. Okay. And yeah, I so, remember yeah. that. <laughs> A lot of time ago. And <laughs> uh, what about you, Leonardo? I mean, the Chopin competition is quite popular in Italy since uh, someone called Maurizio Pollini <laughs> won it a couple of <laughs> years ago. <laughs> yes, but, but of course, it's uh, such a big competition, such amazing winners. Of course, Maurizio Pollini, but also like Christian Zimmerman, Marta Argerich. Yes. yes, yes. So th those are like, Giants in, in, in nowadays uh, like uh, uh, classical music world. Mm -hmm. So uh, of course, Italy. Yes, it's famous, very famous in Italy, but also abroad. I think those those people are known also in Japan, mm -hmm. also in Korea. Right? It's mm -hmm. it gives you like a, a very uh, international breadth. Yes, of course. And speaking of big, important winners that also made uh, the name of the competition in Korea, I mean, we had the pleasure of hosting here at Chopin Talk yesterday uh, the previous winner that is from uh -huh. South Korea. Yes. And of course, we were uh, chatting before about the, how much he did, Song Jin Cho, of course, did also for classical music in Korea, right? Yes, yeah, so, um, Korean people uh, are paying attention to the Chopin competition, so this time more after Song Jin Cho has won the competition. And uh, that's what I feel. I really, uh, my family and my friends, they all watching the, 
<laughs> that they are following the competition. And it's, yes, yes I mean, it feels really thankful <laughs> as a musician, as a pianist. And um, so, yeah. And if I must, you must, if I must say something, uh, the communication of the Chopin competition, like we, we didn't talk about this before, nope. <laughs> but I think it's exceptional. Uh, you it's should tell this to Alexander Laskovsky. <laughs> it's exceptional because uh, YouTube, uh, Instagram, it's very popular, very followed. Mm -hmm. uh, there are topics. Uh, also, mm -hmm. the live chat is very mm -hmm. alive. I mean, they're yes, commenting. There are a lot of moderators also for the comments. And exactly. have you seen the, the trailer, for example? This be the beautiful. Mm -hmm. Talent is oh, just, yes. just the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. So I think that this helps a lot. I mean, the communication, like YouTube, uh, like yeah. free, free access to all the videos of the competition, uh, everywhere, high quality streaming. Uh, mm -hmm. This is mm -hmm. like very... Uh, yeah, very professionally organized, mm -hmm. this competition. Yes. <laughs> yeah, How was the, the last year? I think part of probably everybody's, you know, um, concentration, they're so, they cannot wait to hear you. You know, because it was <laughs> postponed for a year. Mm -hmm. And how was that experience for you, having this extra year? Was it something that was <laughs> stressful? <laughs> or <Stop>. Ladies first. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we, we, do you like this start? No, no ladies no, first. Okay. The ladies first. Um, sorry, uh, the, what the question is. Oh, no, no, is. no. I mean, you know, it was, was it, um, were you able to kind of focus more on the music, mm -hmm. do you feel? Or, you know, or did you kind of miss going, having concerts? You know, did you have to do lessons online? Um, the pandemic situation. The pandemic, did you yes. uh, rethink your repertoire? You know, any? Right, yeah, yeah. I mean, our school closed because of the pandemic. Your and then I, I couldn't meet my professor to have lessons. Mm -hmm. So we did the online lesson after one year, the COVID <laughs> come. And then, uh, so it, it really affected uh, my preparations of the competition. But um, still there is a good thing um, from the pandemic, which uh, I had the time to really get to know myself better. And actually that helps me to make my music better. I think, mm -hmm. yeah. Of course. Yes. Do you think, Sogo, that you are missing time? Because this topic of not having enough time and the pandemic giving you more time actually is, is common because a lot of people actually discover that, well, finally you have hours to practice, mm -hmm. hours to read, to, you, ha you can stay put in, in your place and mm -hmm. practice every day. So do you felt also this uh, need? Actually, I feel I have more time because the uh, university class was all canceled, and I, we had uh, just a uh, uh, resume and mm -hmm. just a test. So I didn't, I didn't have to go to university hospital to uh, take classes. So, uh, so I could practice any time at home, and I have, uh, I have more, one more year. Mm -hmm. So, reading bo re reading uh, reading books about Japan or uh, searching about uh, uh, his notes or his letters, you know, that it it helps me a lot to mm -hmm. preparing for this competition. Mm -hmm. And ah. you mentioned hospital. Yeah. Um, maybe not everybody knows, but you're actually somebody who is studying medicine yes. right now yes. at university. So you told us that in two years, you're going to be a doctor. Yeah. So how, I mean, first of all, how do you find the time to practice <laughs> and compete in the Chopin competition? But also, um, could you tell us about how maybe does studying music help your medicine, vice versa? Um, uh -huh. uh, do you feel connection? First. Uh, I'm like, I'm in the fifth year out of six, so I'm that I'm now doing the clinical training at the hospital, following doctors, uh, uh, looking at surgeries, mm -hmm. you know, and and communicating with patients. Yes. And uh, I, uh, the the training begins at begins at morning and to. Uh, 5 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m., so, and go home, practice, and sleep. Okay. It's, my, it's my lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> and, yes, uh, mm, 
doing uh, the, these medical things, you know, the, being a doctor or being a nurse, is uh, uh, help, helping patient's life, you know? It's uh, directly connect to the patient's uh, life quality or quality or the making people happy or smile. So it's a bit a uh, connection with these uh, performance of in, in front of audience or, you know, they are, uh, yeah, I really like to play in, in front of audience or mm -hmm. th like this public. To reach uh, the audience, yeah, to, reach to reach the, the outside, public. Yeah. He's great because, because he, he will cure souls and bodies. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> he will be able to do that and I mean, it is a very uh, admirable. <laughs> Thank you, that's and my Nikki, dream. we were talking about this before. Um, living for us today, we're, you know, around the, we're all in the same generation and now with technology and social media, I feel like that's a big, um, big area that we uh, have access to. Mm -hmm. But how much is too much? How little is too little? Um, like you mentioned before, yes. Martha Argerich, mm -hmm. Polini. Mm -hmm. I mean, there they was no have, social uh, media. Pages. They don't have Facebook. <laughs> no, they don't no, have. I, mean, I think that they are such ch charismatic figures that they they do all by just just staying there, like and playing and. But uh, as I was saying, communication, uh, maybe it's, it's important nowadays in classical music world, and we uh, all have to learn how to communicate not only with our music, but also outside of, of, of that area. But of course, we were, we were talking about uh, that before, and one has to do this in, in a natural way, I think, because otherwise it may sound uh, forced a little bit. And uh, we were saying that our, our lives private life uh, mm, we feel that it must be private like mm -hmm. <laughs> but also we feel this need of, of sharing uh, mm -hmm. our career our thoughts about music uh, so this is, this is kind of trying trying to find a way like to 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 to, to be as the most the most community communicati communicati mm -hmm. communicative art artist uh, also outside of of the music of course. Uh, and also i mean it's a way also to speak with the people our age, you know, because we are still quite young and speaking about old age mm -hmm. uh, audience in the concert halls, of course, it's nice to have an online presence. Um, do you have many friends that actually follow you uh, for your concerts, uh, for example, Yamin? I think after I played uh, last night, um, I I think the 100 followers. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Suddenly, it just, uh, yeah. Really? Yes. Well, this is the effect of shopping. YouTube, 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 YouTube videos. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course. So there's a lot of positive things mm -hmm. yes, yes, to be course. taken. Yeah. It's not only the stress of performing, right? <laughs> it's just also the glory of <laughs> after the performance. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you being recognized when you go on the street already? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. <laughs> not no, really. But, uh, yeah, no, but for that, we have to wait to, for the finals. <laughs> wait, wait, for the finals. But still, I was amazed by the fact that so much people is already in the audience. I mean, this is yes. only mm -hmm. the first stage, and the hall is already packed with uh -huh. audience that really want, and it's uh, really supportive. I don't know if you could feel on the stage the participation of the audience. Actually, when I went to stage, I don't know you. If for you, it's the same. But when I saw the whole, the full packed all, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you don't see uh, this a lot, right? Like mm -hmm. the, this is such a big. Old, how many people uh, can can fit? I have no clue. But uh, for sure, I mean, it's more than almost completely sold out almost every day. So, so it was like it was impressive. like a shock. It was like yeah. a shock. And I, I've seen the video of my performance back, and when I came on stage, I made a little reaction that was uh, unintentional. I mean, I didn't intend to do that. I, I, I was like, I, I looked at the audience, and I, I was like, <laughs> yes. my eyebrows were like, <laughs> for, for just a tiny second. And of course. Is, uh, is it, was it strange to be performing for a live audience again, Sogo? Like, y you are in the hall with the audience looking at you? Um. Uh, during the pandemic in the, in the Japan, Japan uh, in Japan, we can't uh, perform in front of full audience because we have to uh, take distance. Uh, so 
the, the max, maximum is half half uh, audience. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I feel the same. Wow, wow, well, full, yeah. wow. So <laughs> I, I heard that it's 1,000 and 100 seats. 1,000 and 100. So it's a lot of people. Uh, <coughs> fortunately, I had it, um, many chances to perform in the, um, Korea and Europe. And uh, just right before this competition started, I, I was in Korea for 10 days to play two concerts. And uh, thankfully, um, many people has come. Also, uh, they knew I was, uh, I will be going to the Chopin competition. That's why they, they, they got to curious. know about yeah, me and then more audiences came to the concerts and yeah, that's, that's what Chopin competition really mm -hmm. yeah, did to me. And it's, it's like a brand, right? A, a brand, you're branded. Like you are the one who played in the Chopin competition. Yeah, yeah, of course. All right? Yes, yes, it really gives. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you really for your really fascinating answers. And now, just as we approach the, the final moments of this Chopin talk, um, what are you actually going to do next after you finish this madness here? <laughs> are you going back home? Are you going back to Japan? Yeah, i uh, going back to Japan soon and doing some reports okay. for... <laughs> mm -hmm. for to the hospital and, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and get back to the training, clinical training. That's all. No, that's so yeah. something. I hope you are not writing them right now during the competition. <laughs> <laughs> you can take some nights of rest. Uh, I have concerts here and there, so I will mm -hmm. be. Um, after this, I will be going to Hanover, Hanover first, and then, yes, to perform at concerts. Yes. More or less the same. Uh, yeah. You, know, you mean, uh, of course, I cannot write medical reports, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> uh, and probably I will cut my hair very short. Why? This is this is the this is the <laughs> very big news of this talk. Like to <laughs> like, very, like to, to mark change, the end of the Chopin competition. I like cut my hair to, to be like like to to to, to be in the mark a new beginning, right? Okay. Mm. After the Chopin competition. So is it still crazy ideas, crazy mm. ideas. Well, it, it, it may be. How but short? it's not like you hadn't gotten How a haircut. Ve very short. <laughs> I support you. <laughs> very short, very short. <laughs> Once I was, uh, I had this blonde hair. Really? Yes, totally different. Are you uh, thinking about dyeing your hair blonde again after the competition? Uh, I, I wish I could. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise yeah. people would recognize you in, in, oh, in yeah, the concert. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, she, she's not the yeah. girl in the program. But it was very special experience and uh, Actually, people liked it, um, me with blonde hair mm -hmm. and to perform piano. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Well, so. yeah. We could do that. You yes. could do that for the next round and surprise us all. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. You'd be impressed. If I, if I pass. Thank you okay. so much, Thank all you. of you. Um, you. We're so honored to speak with you, and best of luck for the next round. Yeah. Um, Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Ben, mecenas 18 między.